Brisbane residents are spending a staggering amount of their income simply getting around. The River City has some of the highest transport costs in the country, prompting calls for the state government to help ease the burden. It's been almost three decades since Steve Jones ditched his car in favour of cheaper transport options. I haven't had one since 1992, so I, uh, I'm relatively rich. And not surprised by the staggering costs of owning a motor vehicle in the River City. Ride a bicycle or catch a bus. The Australian Automobile Association has named Brisbane Australia's third most expensive capital city for transport, costing residents almost $20,000 a year to own and operate a car. That's around 16% of the average household income. Now there's calls for the state government to step in. Remove stamp duty on new vehicle purchases. We also need them to freeze registration costs because these have been growing in recent years, higher than inflation. We've actually brought the, the costs down. They were extremely high. And while many believe public transport is more affordable, it's still far from cheap. I think the fares are reasonable, but the zoning is wrong. It should be able to go anywhere. Within Brisbane, Brisbane metropolitan area um, for a single fare, say 230 or 250. For students and lower income earners, it could be a bit lower. While Brisbane's transport network might be expensive, it could soon be a little more predictable, with the state government hopeful of introducing digital signs on buses, trains, bus shelters, and major roadways, providing real time updates on delays and timetable changes. To ensure commuters get what they're paying for, Mackenzie Ron, 7 News. There's been a series.